in this video we are going to understand how you can sign up on Razorpay okay so first of all uh, there is the razorpay.com that I opened it so now what needs to be done in order to signing up over here which is click on the sign up button so once you are clicking on the sign up button it will take you to this specific page now we have to put the email ID so I'm putting my email ID over here for registering okay this is my email ID if you have the your company email ID if you have your own email ID on the basis of your domain so you can also use that one otherwise you can also use your phone number as well so now what I'll do I'll just click on the continue button so once I'll click on the continue it will take me to the next page where I need to set up the password so I'm just quickly setting up the password okay so now I just put it over here one one second okay so now i set up the password over here after that it will ask me for the code let's take just save this i'm just going to my email id and checking whether i received it or not let's go and check it out it will take a few seconds okay now you can see it sends me the otp now after verifying this otp i have to select this this um country is business incorporated in india yes true you have to select according wherever the location that you want to start it so right now i am created i've created the business in india so now let's go and see how is this onboarding process now i'm going to enter my mobile number as well over here so what i'll do i'll just quickly enter it This is my mobile number, so I have entered it. Send the OTP on this number. After sending the OTP, okay. Now click on the submit button. So once I have uh, done this, it will take me to my name. My name is Sadhan Seni. Then click on the continue. After clicking on the continue, it will take me to the next page. Let's wait for a second. Okay, uh, let's get started. Have you set up the payment gateway for the business before? No, it's my first time to set it up. Now, the second is if you have already used any other payment gateway, so you can also select the yes option. Now, the second is where do you plan to use the razor pay on the collecting? So, on my website, if you have your Android app, you can also select that one. If you have your iOS app, you can select that one. On social media links and Facebook and Instagram, of course, you can use these two. And uh, majorly on my website that I want to use, I will also add. Uh, on my social media profile i can also use this one android app i don't have it these are all the things that i don't have it if you have it you can also select that one now click on the continue now uh, add my website link i will add later right now i don't have any website so you can see this button and click on the add later add later so activate your account happens to work faster when you add your website so i will add it later so major thing that you have that you should have a website on your domain okay so we will do some other applications other uh, information we will fill it after this okay add later now uh, what's your business type i will work as an individual if you are a freelancer you can use as a free ind individual if you are uh, working in a private limited company sorry if you have your private limited company you can also use this if you are uh, running any trust or society or public limited according to your business you can select that but right now i'm an individual as a freelancer i want to register it i'm going as as an individual okay now click on the continue once i click on the continue it will take me to the second step where i have to use my personal pan number so i'll just quickly check my pan number i will put it over here okay now i'll fill the fill my pan number and after that what i'll do i'll just it will take me to the next step and once it is taking me to the next step uh okay pan number name my pan number name is this 
now click on the continue these are the very basic information that you have to fill it one after another what's your brand name i'll just take keep keeping it my name only if you have your company name if you have your brand name you can use that one as well okay now i'm just taking it to the next one uh, add your email address to receive the account i have already added it so now click on the continue now i have filled the information all these things now it will be done so once i submit all these details then it will take a couple of minutes or a couple of hours to activate your account so thank you for submitting your details at the next step complete your kyc activate your payment account don't worry it this won't take too much long now click on the complete kyc once you are clicking on the complete kyc then it will take you to this specific dashboard where you have to fill all these bank details identity proof so it will ask you for these things so now when you're clicking on to it it will take you to this business address bank details identity identity proof business policy business category bank details so let's click on quickly your business address so i'm just putting business address over here now let's take uh, i want to pin it or uh, the company company's address business address let's take use this one so i'll just quickly you can use yawn as well so that won't create any issue so i will just use the flexi funnels address you can use your company address over here so now this is the one i'll just keeping it over here pin code i will put it everything that i have already put it to for this so now I'll just copy and paste it of course you don't need to add uh, this company detail i'm just telling you uh, for the reference of how you can create the account so this is the thing that you have to mention it uh in your case okay so add your business address where is your office where is your uh, uh, company okay so you have to add this thing click done and uh, i don't want to save it no thanks now the this is done the bank details are done now identity proof you have to put your digi locker aadhar card if you have upload identity proof manually i will add my identity proof aadhar card i have my one I also have fast forward. Okay, other card I have. I will just add it front and back thing. So let's go over here. I have my other card. Let's see. Okay, this is my other card. This is one front end. Another one. It will be the back end one. okay now i will upload it my back side of my aadhar so you have to make it a clear picture you have to take a clear photo and then upload it over here otherwise they will create an issue uh, for approving your uh, account okay so what i have done is i have uploaded my aadhar front and back now click on the upload and then continue now similarly you have to fill all these details over here business policies i don't have a business policies right now but you should have business policies uh is there any cancellation refund anything on the same day any anything if you have it any sort of thing so you have to mention it and fill the details accordingly you have to use your support email as well over here you have to use a contact number refund processing if you have the refund policy if you don't have you can choose it no shipping policy if you are selling something no shipping is required if you are selling digitally cancellation no cancellation refund and provider so these are the simple things and simple uh pointers that you have to fill it over here now you can just click on the create policy pages if it is required so you can also click on it and create the policy page it's it will create over here itself the terms and condition this it will do it over here itself cancellation and refund policy publish this with razor pay let's click on the publish this with razor pay make sure to put the right information over here now bank details that you have to put in and business category so business category i am working uh, in specific so these are the couple of thing that the, the razor pay is providing so either of this that you have to select it so let's take in my is a freelancing i create landing page and funnel services this kind of thing that i do it so i will select uh, the logistic and this so i will select this services industry okay because i'm going to deliver the services of how to build the website and everything so ad and marketing agency this 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 so we have to select the exact which kind of services that you are providing it 
so once you are going to select it let's see all the category over here as well so my cleaning to here developing this this photography and this engineer so ad and marketing agency this 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 consulting service even planning electronic repairs so according to you you can select it whatever the niche that you're following it right now i'm just going to select ad and marketing agency over here and now uh, what does your business model look like what does your business model look like we offer the social media boosting and increasing the followers and or again it's like the smma social media marketing and this thing we offer the multi-level marketing service affiliate marketing my business model is not specified here you can select it and you can just write it i uh, i i do the freelancing and uh, website creation website website creation So over here you have to detail as detail as possible otherwise you can select it according to the category that was there previously okay now you have to fill the information accordingly it, it's just a step-by-step -step process over here that you have to fill it and then click on the done category so all these information are done now you have to add to the final details I'm just adding it randomly my accounts and the IFSC code okay so you have to fill the proper details over here as well so let's take I'll just go and quickly add it let me just do it uh, just to need to submit the KYC and once I submit the KYC then it will take a few seconds in order to approve it and once it is done then you are good to go with the account now great now you can see uh, accepted any amount without limit receiving this and this international and this KYC so all these information that submit in the device and it our team will reach out to you once like uh, about the given time interval okay so once you got this the razor pay team will contact you key about all these things now what ha what will happen now still you can collect it your payments account over here your account is active now you have to do a couple of things in order to make it a much more good so uh, add a website over here make sure this is most important step once you have created your website on which domain that you are going to collect the payments make sure it should be there man uh, you have to select this uh, and proceed with the update and details and all those things they will ask you for a couple of things for asking you the otp and everything and once you are done with this i'll make sure that you have to follow this a couple of steps which is required over here purchase a domain integrate a domain with the flexi funnels create a couple of pages that is required every information that is recorded over here and once it is done so here's a couple of quick video that you have to do it and watch it and after that apply it on these uh, accounts just like we have done the application now to just connect buy a domain and then connect that domain over here so now you have to add a website over here you just need to click on this website and update and it will give you ask you for the otp and once it's asked for the op otp then the next step it will show you uh, add these steps add the uh, domain okay so once you have add this thing it will take a couple of hours in order to approve it and once that is done now you can connect your razor pay account with the flexi funnels okay so here is the exact process of how you can integrate it over here integration process with the flexi funnel is there which is this so now go and implement this and once this is done razor pay team will contact you and they will give you the approval now you can just do the transaction with that point itself okay so this is the whole process of uh, creating the razor pay account and after that the integration that has to be done uh, with the help of this link a specific go and check it out this thing as well and the couple of things over here as well which you have to do once you have bought the domain and uh, done all the integrations with the flexi funnels part so this is about how you can create the account on razor pay simple process thank you so much